Hey guys, welcome to a brand new Let's Play series. We're going to play Life is Strange. This is a Square Enix game. It's basically, it's it's described as sort of like a game that, it's a different game. It's different. <laughs> it's unique. It's basically a choice and consequence style game. Um, unlike anything we've seen before is the way I've seen it described. I, I looked it up a little while ago and it, it did interest me. Um, so I thought we'd give it a chance. Um, I think I kind of like these sort of story-driven games. Uh, hopefully you will too. So let's get started. Let's let's not wait any longer. Let's just get started. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Okay. I'm in control now. Okay. Why is it that uh, the lighthouse is always a shining beacon of light in a character's journey? <laughs> I think I just answered my own question. All right. So we're going to the lighthouse. So oh, so shift is shift is speed up. I was gonna say run, but she's not exactly running. Use mouse to move the camera. Well, that is what I am doing. Is there anything? Whoa! What is that? Click. No clicking. Spacebar does nothing. Okay. Well, I'm guessing there's some stuff on the floor. All right. Let's go to the lighthouse. I guess. Let's speed ourselves up here. Take a seat on this bench. Maybe not. Holy shit! Yeah, that's what I said. Almost kind of. That's trouble. Whoa. That was so surreal. Famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Right in the face. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. <gasps> there you go, Victoria. So I can look around Why here. Arbus? Well, it looks like... Because of her images of hopeless faces. I guess this is my totally wheel. Haunted by look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I don't even know... I can hear the class laughing at me now. What is this crap? What am I even looking at? The eyes of those sad mothers and children. Oh, there's more options She saw now. humanity as tortured, right? Oh, well, look there. And frankly, it's bullshit. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Hmm. But oh, there's a I like lot it old of school. Stuff. What's this? My little camera bag is battered, but still and kicking. You could do that to me. Journal. Let me Isn't that look easy? first. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. What if How about we read it? it? If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? October, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color. Trying to climb out of my cocoon. Page eight. Oh man. Wow. Now wait a minute. Let's read. Let's read a little bit of this. I haven't read much by him. Well, October, October, Ray Bradbury. Kate let me borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. 
You, you obviously you guys can freeze the video and read it. I should find a real Halloween party to crash. So I can experience some social mingling. <laughs> it's that or a vortex club stroke fest swimming party. Wow, that sounds horrible. Uh, or is that backstroke fest? Yeah, so punny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. Yes, that's the school. As my parents love telling me on a loop, you have all the time in the world. That's a nice heart you got there. What do these other pages look like? Eh, she's into music. She's 18. She's Canadian, maybe. Uh, we got birds. We've got lockers and all this stuff. We've got stamps, U.S. stamps. So she maybe she's not Canadian, maybe. He doesn't try to be hip. He just says what he thinks and expects us to, to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh, my God. I want to marry him. Just joking. Wow. Who? Mr. Jefferson? Okay. She's got a crush on Mr. Jefferson. This is just what we're gleaning from the journal. There's a cat with glasses. That's always cool. Oh, she's definitely Canadian. She lives in Seattle, though. I love... Well, that's a deer. That's not a moose or anything. Interesting. Okay, let's exit out of here. The height of their beauty or innocence. That's okay. So we've looked at all this stuff. Anything behind? Eye. So we got the camera. Here. Take, take a approach. selfie. That seems inappropriate. I do class. love my analog camera. I'm not a big fan of her work. I should take a quick picture now. Oh, oh, you want to take a? I should okay. take a picture to prove I'm still here. Yeah, that's a great idea. You captured the essence of post-war beat America. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Hmm? Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and <coughs> photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Um, you, you're asking me? I did know. Hmm, let's go with... Let's go with you're asking me? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Whoa, whoa. Is there anybody here who Calm knows this? Calm down, stuff? guy. Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process I don't like brought Victoria. out fine detail in people's faces making them extremely popular from the 1800s on. We looked at everything else. The first American oh, daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert before. Cornelius. We got the, the you can find out channel. all about him in your textbook. Or textbook. even online. Whoa, whoa. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Poor Max getting picked on. By the teacher, even. Well, she's not really getting picked on. Okay, so we're here now. Uh, let's see. Ooh, etch marks. doesn't waste a second kissing it. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Okay. Class is turning in a photo, so... Rachel Amber? Is that what that says? Am I going to be taking pictures of all the things? Hey, Kate! Kate, how you doing? Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Uh, I hope I didn't embarrass you. You seem quiet today. Let's go with I hope I didn't. Well, you seem quiet today. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Mm, that's my problem too, Kate. Uh, Victoria has already won. Want to go grab a cup of tea? Let's grab a cup of tea. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Yeah, let's hang. We'll hang. We'll hang, Kate. Me and you. We're gonna hang. Computer. Use. Looks like somebody was already working on this. That's Photoshop. Cool. Are we photoshopping things now? Okay. Let's see. Oh, there's a poster here. Look at the poster. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Wow. He's some sort of big-time guy. 
Pop Vine is Grunge Dead, featuring the latest works from Mark Jefferson, 10 Reasons to Get Electronic Mail. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. 10 Reasons to Get Email? Is that really one of the subjects? That's interesting. Maybe this is like before... That printer is amazing. Hmm. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. What? I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. Well, that's... When I don't suck. When I don't suck. Someday. Well, we should use it, man. Let's just use it. Let's make use of the things in class. Look. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Ooh! She swore. Interesting. Uh, photo equipment. Can we take it? No, we could just look at it. It's just a tripod. I don't even think... A notebook. Ooh, there's a tablet here. Hello. Of course. Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive ever. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Wow. With all the speed and power expected from a new greenlit uh, GRLT64S is packed with expanded features and manageability. It shoots what you want, where you want, straight out of the camera. JPEG image qu images already have superb quality, including a new level of depth, sharpness, and malleability. Interesting. That seems pretty expensive. But then again, cameras be crazy. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. Yeah. What is she, 15 years old? What a B. And people laughed. Oh, there's a paper ball here. Wait. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Dear Kate, we love Purge. your porn video. Oh, man. Kate is being picked on. That's mean. This is Kate right here. She's sad. Man, I'm sorry, Kate. Can we, can we just look out the window? I like this panoramic view of Blackwell. Everything looks so green and serene. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, maybe we should talk to this guy and punch him in his face for being a jerk to us. Let's look at... Every time I look at Victoria, Victoria I feel like it. she's talking smack about me. She probably is. She's probably coming out of the teacher right now. Look at her. She's like, hey, Mr. Jefferson. That's his name, right? Look at him. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Just speak to him. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Oh, burn. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Um, do I have to? I didn't have any time. Do I have to? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch-up. You're young, the world mm -hmm, is yours, mm -hmm. blah, 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 right? Right. But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Is that it? Is that all you had to say, Mr. Jefferson? There's more pictures here. All right, there's another picture here. I don't think any of this is really important. I can't go in there. How about we just leave the class? Can we do that? How about this TV? Can we jack the TV and take it home? Let's just open this door. How cute I looked yet. I was about to. Just you you welcome to the real world. Oh boy. Then I might send you a special picture. I'm not paying $150 for it. Because Max wants everybody to see how fat she is. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so funny. And so it begins. Interesting. This is going to be an interesting adventure, I think, guys. She's Stick around. Boom. Headphones in the ears. Playing some tunes. Hopefully I don't get smacked with a copyright claim. That would be terrible. Okay, so we're walking down. Life is strange. It sure is. Episode 1. Chris... Chrysalis? Chrysalis? What are you wearing, girl? Fix your jeans. Dana, you can look to the... You can look at these people. You can't really... What happens if you look... All of you. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. Brooke looks cool. Brooke I, looks like we could hang. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. 
Uh, Logan. I hate bully jockstrap flick Logan. Yeah. And he's a Vortex Club member. Totally gross. Ooh, missing person thing. It looks like she's been gone for months. Well, that's no good. Missing from Arcadia Bay, April 22nd, 2013. Okay, so this is modern day stuff here. 19 years old, whatever, tattoo on calf of a dragon, and a star on the inside of the left wrist. Please call in any information. Interesting. So there's a missing girl. Not sure if that's relevant in any way. There's a Halloween party coming up, so this is October, I'm sure. Stuff for sale. Don't need a PC. Miss the Poetry GM tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Hmm. With shiny smiles and the worst bathroom. Art class, science class, bathrooms are this. There it is. We're going over the bathroom. We need, we need some quiet time. Is this the same stuff? Missing. Join the chess team. What's well, not? Uh, enter. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. And nobody can see your meltdown. It's This is very graffiti. What does it say? Now who oh. would bother to write that crap? She seems like a pretty level-headed girl, you know? Like in a in a typical um, sort of high school setting. I feel like the setting. universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Mm, I think it's just life. Splash water on my face. Make sure I don't look like total crap. I think those were her exact words. Nice shoes. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. No! That was her assignment, I'm pretty sure. There's a when a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. <clears throat> we we need to like photo it. <laughs> Look, it's being the perfect subject. It's just sitting there. Is it a butterfly on a on a bucket? It's not a great photo. Hey. I feel like the guy should not be in here. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. What? So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck Whoa. I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Okay. Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. There it is. Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot who believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Um, okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. 